it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Last year, I had so much fun creating a repurposed DIY Christmas cards tutorial that this year I thought we'd do something along those same lines and create repurposed gift bags. If you haven't seen that tutorial yet, I'll link it down below as well as at the end of this video so you can watch it next. And before we get into today's video, I want to thank Acorn TV so, so much for sponsoring this video. Acorn TV is a British rooted streaming service. They have an extensive library that includes hard to find gems, timeless classics, and newly discovered favorites from Britain, Ireland, Austria, and beyond. Now me personally, I actually stream my Acorn TV from my Roku here in my She Shed, but you can also stream it from Apple and Android devices, even Amazon Fire TV. I have streamed so many different series on Acorn TV. They have documentaries, they have comedies, and currently I am watching a funny series called The Golden Years. So that is one to definitely check out, but Acorn TV is also loaded with thousands of hours of binge-worthy content, and so there's always something new to watch. And best yet, it is commercial-free, and if you use my coupon code, The Daily DIYer, you can try Acorn TV yourself for free for 30 days. And after your free trial is over and you fall in love with it, like I know you will, because I have, it's only $5.99 a month. If you're a fan of quirky British comedy, then the other one is a must watch. It follows two sisters from very different worlds who had no idea the other existed until their father drops dead. And for you Downton Abbey fans out there, the other one features a hilarious performance from beloved Soban Finneran. Escape to Britain and beyond without leaving your seat. Try Acorn today free for 30 days by going to acorn.tv and using my coupon code, The Daily DIYer. Now I'm so excited about today's video. I'm gonna show you several different ways that you can repurpose old gift bags or even new ones that you see that are super cute in the store. Grab them, usually they're only a dollar if you go to Dollar Tree or even Dollar General, or maybe you have some beautiful ones that were gifted to you. Don't throw them away. I never throw my gift bags away. They are so great to reuse over and over again, or as I'm gonna show you in this video, repurpose them to be something different. This bag came from the dollar store and we're actually going to use this for three different projects. So this one was definitely going to impress you. I decided I had this mug that was kind of the right size circle that I was wanting or needing uh, to have a nice circle to cut out. However, I quickly found out that it was kind of difficult to center the snowflakes underneath the mug because you couldn't really see where that mug was sitting. So a lot of them were offset. So even though here I am like tracing out a circle, I ended up actually just kind of coming back in with my scissors and following the circle around the outer edge of the snowflakes and just doing it myself. And it it's not exactly perfect whenever you freehand it like this, but it still worked out just fine. So we're going to use these circles for a couple of different projects, which you'll see here coming up. This first one is going to be a snowflake garland. And I love this because you can actually use this all winter long. So once I got all of my snowflake circles cut out, and then I came back in with a hole punch and added one hole punch to the top of each one. Now, depending on how long you want your garland is how many snowflakes you're going to use. I always like using an odd number so I can start in the middle and and then kind of work my way out from the sides. And all I'm doing here is I had some yarn from the Dollar Tree. I'm using that for the banner or the garland string, as well as the same thing to tie those snowflakes onto the string that is gonna hold the garland in place. I really loved the look of this chunkier, thicker yarn. It had a beautiful, cozy, winter kind of look and feel to it. Once I had all of my snowflakes hung on to the yarn, I just kind of spaced them out evenly. And so for only about $1, we have a beautiful garland we can use for the whole winter season. Mm -hmm. 
Now, like I said, we're gonna make two more projects out of the same one gift bag, and maybe your thought is to just throw away all of the excess that we didn't use. We actually still have a beautiful gift tag that we can take right off. We're gonna keep it on the little handles and tie it right onto a new gift bag and reuse this gift tag instead of just tossing it away. And now it's time for the emoji of the day. Please leave me a snowflake emoji down in the comment section below and help me decorate down there and spread a little Christmas cheer. If you don't have a snowflake emoji, you can just leave the word snowflake. Now we're gonna use one more of those snowflakes from this bag and create a mirror snowflake. This little piece is from the Dollar Tree. And of course it was black and gold, so it didn't look much like a snowflake. So I decided to just paint it with my white chalk paint. I gave it two coats and then it started really, really looking like a snowflake after that. Now I'm just cutting out a snowflake in a circle shape again, making sure I cut it down to the right size so it will fit within that space where the mirror is. Once I knew my circle snowflake was the right size, I just used a regular glue stick and added that straight onto the mirror and pressed the snowflake into place. Now because I free handed the circle, of course it was not perfect and you could kind of still see some of that mirror poking out around the edges. So I actually just took some more of that same yarn we used for the banner in our first project and I used that to go all the way around the edges using my hot glue gun to keep it in place. Now we're going to use this cute gift bag to create some little stickers. So I loved all the little uh, graphics that this bag had on it. So I just used my scissors and cut each one of them out. And luckily, because these gift bags are double-sided, we actually kind of get twice the amount of designs because we can also cut the same ones out of the back. So like I said, we are going to make stickers out of these cute little designs using a Xyron sticker maker. This is something super fun that I love in my craft stash. And if I can find a link, I will put it in the description box below. Um, and basically all I'm doing is feeding my design into the front of the sticker maker and pulling the material out the back and it just kind of feeds it in there. It sucks it right in. And then basically you've made your own sticker. But since we have lots of these little guys to make, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can also just kind of make like a long sheet of these and again you just put it right in the front and you peel or pull right on the back of the material and you can move on to the next one So these are so fun to make and the back of it has a little perforation. So you just peel up and then you have your sheet of stickers. You're gonna push down and press them all flat to make sure your adhesive has stuck to your designs. And then what I do is I actually cut them all apart individually so that I have separate stickers. If you wanna leave them on a long sheet like this, of course you can. And then I'll show you how to apply your stickers next. Thank you. 
and then it's really really simple you just want to make sure your design is pressed down flat and then you'll remove the clear plastic right from the top you're gonna to peel that away from the paper backing and then remove your design from the paper and stick it down like you would any other sticker super duper simple and they also come with different types of adhesives so they have repositionable adhesives and permanent adhesives depending on your project So like you can see here, I use these to seal some Christmas cards with, but you could even do this with photographs or little keepsakes, anything that you wanna make for card making or scrapbooking or Christmas card making. It's a really fun gadget and creates some really fun things. This gift bag was actually from Walmart and I just could not pass it up. It's a pretty good sized bag. It was only about $3, but it was just asking to be made into a wood sign. And I've made a full tutorial on how to do this before, but I'm adding a short one in here in case you'd wanna do this. But I'll also link the full version down in the description box if you wanna go watch that next. I basically just cut out that home for the holidays design from the front. And then I used a scrap piece of wood. I had sanded it down um, and then just added some brown paint to the top so that it had a wood stained look. Now you wanna make sure that your paint is completely dry before we move on to the next step, which is Mod Podging our design onto the front of the wood. I'm using a matte Mod Podge for this, and I'm using a foam paintbrush to generously apply the Mod Podge onto the top of the sign. You wanna make sure you have a pretty thin but even coat before applying your design onto the front. Make sure you get out all of the air bubbles. I even ran a towel over the top to make sure it was all clean. And then you'll apply more Mod Podge right on top of that, taking your time but not going too slowly because you do not want your uh, Mod Podge to dry and then you'll get a clumpy effect. So kind of work quickly, but also make sure you're working with smooth strokes. Once your Mod Podge is dry, I like to come back in and rough up the edges with some sandpaper. It just kind of gives it a more rustic look. It seems like anytime I use wood for my projects, I tend to keep them around for a long time. So I know this is one of those pieces that I will have displayed at our home during the holidays for a long time to come. This is another one of the gift bags that we're actually gonna use to create three different projects with. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Again, we're going to be using the gift tag off of the front of this. It was so pretty, I just couldn't just toss it away. So what I'm going to do is remove it and add it to the front of a card. I also wanted to cover up the hole that was at the top of the tree, so I'm just using that same yarn from our garland again to make a small bow. And then I'm using some glue dots, which you can also find at Dollar Tree, to apply the bow right onto the front of the card. And the third project with this bag, the handles were actually a beautiful satin red ribbon and I didn't wanna throw those away either, so I saved those. I'm actually gonna be using them to wrap a gift box, a jewelry gift box that is also from Dollar Tree. Thank you. 
I also look for gift bags that have a raised design on them. So this one actually had some foam dots and the Christmas tree was separate from the gift bag. So I just popped those off and I took off the foam dots from the back and we're going to be making a tree display for a shelf decor piece. So actually what I'm doing here is adding a paint stir stick to the back. It's going to give it some stability and then we're going to use some of the wooden tumble tower game pieces to make a base. So I am hot gluing two pieces together at the ends and then sandwiching those in between the base of the tree using some hot glue. I quickly fell in love with this gorgeous wreath Christmas bag. I just love the whole subtle look that it has. It just is screaming beautiful farmhouse. And basically we're gonna make our own wreath out of it. Now this process did take a little bit of time, but it was definitely worth it because it turned out beautiful in the end. So I cut the design out from the bag, the first part, because we're not gonna be using the back part, just one side. And I'm using a very sharp X-Acto knife to go around all of the leaves. And that's why I'm saying this took a little bit of time, but just go slowly and you will have a beautiful paper wreath in the end. Now to make this into a wreath, I'm actually using a Dollar Tree 12 inch willow wreath and just hot gluing the paper wreath right onto the front. This next gift bag, I saw potential to make three different projects with as well because it had three different designs on it. But I'm just gonna show you this one today and basically we're gonna make a picture frame for Christmas time. So this frame is from Dollar Tree, it had a uh, glass design on the top and I just took a razor blade and very carefully scraped off the words. It was just in paint so it just, very easily comes right off whenever you scrape along the back. I made sure to clean it up before using the template, the frame as a template to cut out the all is calm, all is bright design on the front of the bag. Then I just placed my design into that open window and used some tape to tape it down in the back so that it wouldn't move around. And then I added one of our family Christmas photos into the photo area. I have lots of wintertime and Valentine's Day inspiration coming up soon, and I would love to have you subscribe and stick around for that. I'll also have the DIY repurposed greeting cards video popping up on your screen that you can check out next. And I want to thank you all so, so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Happy holidays.